If we go back and consider the emergence of life for matter, we find that the simplest bacteria contains several billion atoms. The figure shown here of 10 billion is only a very approximate figure. Whether it's 2 billion, 5 billion or 20 billion doesn't really matter. But it seems necessary to bring together approximately this number of atoms in order to create the complexity necessary for them to become a living system. Similarly, if we look at the next leap in evolution, the evolution of intelligent consciousness, we find it again takes several billion nerve cells linked together in the human brain to produce the reflective consciousness characteristic of humanity. Though again, the figure is not meant to be exact. Now if this turns out to be a general principle of evolution, it would suggest that the next stage, the linking of humanity into an integrated system, would involve the working together of a similar number of minds. And indeed, the human population has already reached this level. We might then think of humanity as some sort of huge global brain, a brain in which we are the cells, linked together by our growing information networks. And there are indeed some interesting parallels between the way society is developing and the way the human brain develops. The main thrust of development of the human brain takes place mainly before birth, between weeks 8 and 13 after conception. Imagine for a moment that you are a nerve cell in this growing human brain. At first there's plenty of space. Then very quickly there's a massive population explosion of nerve cells. If you were a nerve cell you'd probably think this is getting dangerous. There's not enough oxygen to go around. We're going to be short of blood soon. But suddenly, at week 13, the explosion stops. From then on, the development of the nervous system focuses on the growth of connectivity and complexity, the linking together of these billions of nerve cells. Today, we are seeing a similar process happening to humanity. We've had this massive population explosion, but it's now beginning to slow down and we seem to be moving into the next phase, the linking of the billions of human cells in this planetary brain.